falls under the force of gravity, but it has the opposite properties to normal matter. So the anti-electron has positive rather than negative charge. Otherwise, it's just like normal matter, but there's not much of it left in the universe, because if it touches normal matter, it explodes in a pot of energy. So they call it colour just by convention, red, green, blue. So that's why so it's three charges rather than two in electromagnetism. Jim O'Reilly, why is it the sky violet? Uh, the colour of the sky is blue because of the way light from the sun is scattered as it passes through the atmosphere. So it's to do with the way light refracts as it bounces off the atoms and molecules of the atmosphere. Uh, the different um, the types of atoms in the atmosphere would give light a different colour, but it's because of the nature of the oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere that gives it the blue colour. Brian Cox, uh, why are we so sure that dark matter is, isn't simply matter and not the result of some deeper phenomenon? Well, so I, I should say what dark matter is. Well, I don't, know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what prize if I knew what it was. But it's uh, the mechanism. <laughs> That's what you're teaching now. That would be good. It's a We're on a clock. We are on a clock. <laughs> so, so, so the dark matter is, is trying to lose oh, astronomers <laughs> see that it's there. So, so the way that galaxies rotate, um, and the way the universe indeed is expanding tells you there's more stuff than we can see. So it could indeed have been normal matter. But when you put that into the simulations, you find that the particles that we know of now don't act, don't, don't cause the universe to expand in the right way or the galaxies to result in the way that we see. So it's got to be a new kind of particle, almost certainly. Though there are some theories that don't, don't uh, predict that, but most theorists think that it will be a new kind of particle, and that's one of the things the Large Hadron Collider is looking for. Uh, Jim, what is dark energy and why hasn't Brian found it yet? <laughs> He's not been looking in the right place. Dark energy has been predicted. It's even more mysterious than dark matter. Dark energy was predicted because in 1998 astronomers um, measured, were measuring light from very distant galaxies and thought that the universe was expanding ever more rapidly. So rather than slowing down and collapsing on itself like the Daily Mail reported today, uh, which is a uh, load of fucking bollocks, um, <laughs> And the only way we can understand what's happening is that something must be counteracting the force of gravity that's trying to pull everything back in again. And we call this dark energy, it's some mysterious substance that's pushing everything apart. But we have even less clue what it is than we usually do about dark matter. Which is uh, interesting, the, the Daily Mail. I love the way you always pre fix it. It's interesting. It's based on some real physics. The interesting thing about the Higgs field, which we now know exists, is that it, it's slightly, it's on the edge of being too massive. And there's actually a stability um, uh, property of the Higgs field. And it's on the edge of being not stable. So what that article actually referred to was the fact that you could imagine the Higgs field uh, shifting into a different state where uh, changing the mass eventually it really changes almost the, not the laws of physics, but the way that physics works, so the mass of the electron, all these things change. So it is actually a, a possible um, outcome for the universe that it goes through this thing and shifts and everything. We've got one.